It's dinner time again. I got my hot logic ready. Um, tonight, I'm going to try something different. Um, I'm going to try and make smoked pork chops with smoked poblano peppers and polenta with vegetables and smoked jalapenos, all with a salsa verde on it. So don't worry if you don't have a smoker, you can make it without a smoker. Um, I really like my smoker and I think it's a good idea to get one, um, you know, it adds flavor to your food and also, you know, you can use it to make drinks like a smoked margarita. Um, if you have a birthday coming or Christmas is in a little while, um, it's nice to find a smoker under the Christmas tree. Um, that's where I found mine. So let's get started. As you can see, I have my sliced poblano peppers and my jalapeno on the plate. And I have my smoker here with some uh, hickory wood. And I'm gonna smoke these on both sides with the smoker. So I got my smoker here and I'm going to light the wood. And it will smoke into the container. You can see the smoke going in the container. And we'll get it nice and smoky in there. And then I'll move on to getting the plunger ready. Seeing as I'm trying to keep these recipes as simple as I can without any having to pre-make things, um, you know, the rice had to be pre-made, but I basically tried to keep it so that it wasn't too complicated and, you know, could be made easily before work or wherever you need to go and taken with you. Um, so with the polenta, you know, it's not too often that you have extra polenta um, left over from dinner before. Mashed potatoes, maybe. Polenta, probably not. So they do sell polenta like this. And so I have it like this, and I'm just going to cut it, and I'll crumble it, and I'll put it straight into the pan. As you can see, I have put the uh, polenta, cut it into small squares, and I'm going to put it in the bowl here, and we are going to smash it in the bowl. Okay, so I have the polenta nice and crushed. I used a fork, and so we're going to put that in one side of our container. So I have some veggies here. Um, I cut them into smaller pieces. I got some broccoli, onion, mushroom, asparagus, and zucchini. And so I'm gonna spice these, mix them up, and put them on top of the polenta before I put the salsa verde on it. So I'm just gonna put some garlic powder on them. Um, some of the uh, roasted herbs. and some lemon pepper. And like I said, I'm gonna mix it all up so everything is everywhere. And then we'll place it on top of the polenta. As you can see, I have the salsa verde in a bowl. And then I have chopped here some tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, um, some of the smoked jalapenos that I smoked earlier and some garlic cloves that I have minced. Now we'll put those into the green salsa and we'll mix it up. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put some of the lemon pepper and uh, just a little bit, um, the herbs and garlic powder on these as well, just a little bit. And then we'll, we will put them in the salsa verde. and we'll mix it up. And so we're gonna mix it up nice and good, make sure everything gets all mixed in here. And after that, we have our polenta here in our bowl, and we are going to top the polenta with some green salsa verde with our stuff in it. Now we're going to save some for our pork chop too, which I have smoked both sides um, while I was doing all this too. So we'll do that next. But both sides of the uh, pork chop have been smoked. So we got a nice covering here of the polenta with the vegetables. And we're going to top that with our smoked jalapenos.
Okay, now let's move on to the pork chops. So I have my pork chop here that I smoked both sides of. Um, it's about three quarters of an inch thick. Um, last time when I made the pork chops, I cut the thicker pork chop in half. Um, but this time I decided to use the whole pork chop as it is and see how that turns out. So I am gonna put some garlic powder, lemon pepper, salt, a little bit of salt, and the herbs on top before I top it with the salsa verde. So now I'm gonna to top it with the salsa verde. I will put it into the container using a spatula and then I will uh, put the spices on the other side and the salsa verde on the other side of it as well. So we have our polenta here covered with our vegetables and our salsa verde topped with the smoked jalapenos. And then we have our pork chop um, with the salsa verde on it. And we have our poblano peppers here and we're just gonna put those on top of the pork chop. All right, so we have the uh, poblano peppers on top. I put a little salsa verde on those. So now it's time to put the cover on and put it in the oven. See what we got, it smells really good. It's been two and a half hours. I let it cook a little bit longer because I was a little worried about the uh, peppers. They're pretty thick. And so I just wanted to make sure they got a chance to cook. I figured with the pork chop being a little thicker, um, everything went to work out okay. So let's see what we got underneath there. I was a little worried that I put too much polenta in there, but it wouldn't be as creamy as I would want, but I, I'm not worried about that anymore. It seems very creamy and it seems very delicious looking. Um, so let's see how it all tastes. Let's take it to the table. All right, let's see how it tastes. It's really creamy, it's really good. That is really good. It's hot. Have the pork chop. The peppers. Cut a piece off here. Make sure I get some peppers with it. All right. I can taste the smoke a lot. Um, it tastes fantastic with the peppers. Wow, I was a little worried, but I'm not anymore. This is really good.